Okay, in this video, I want to show you how you can add in custom fields into Pipedrive. So, for example, like if I'm importing data and I want to add in a uh, an industry field, I can add that in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if I click into Add Custom Field, uh, we're going to call this, um, let's say it's Organization Field. That makes the most sense here. And then we'll just call this Industry. And just keep field type as text. You could make it like if it was going to be like a large blurb of text, like it, it, maybe it was like biographical information or something like that, we'd put that in large text. Um, you can look and see what these other options are and see if it makes sense for what you need. But in this case, I'm just going to stick with the default of text here. And then you can change these options here for field properties, whether or not you want it to be always visible in an organization detail field, add organization field, and so forth. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and leave these as the default of being unchecked and then just click on uh, save. I'm not going to make it required, but basically what that is, if you're going to be importing more data or if you're going to be adding in more data uh, manually, it's the pipe drive is going to make it so that that's a required field you have to fill out. And I don't want to have to do that um, for the end user that has to use this. That would be kind of a pain in the butt for them to have to put something in every time. So let's just go ahead and click save. Okay, so that's a new field. Let's go back over here and see if there's any other fields that probably should be added in. Uh, middle name probably doesn't need to be added in. Suffix, no. Let's put in job title. Let's see if job title is actually listed over here under like person records. No, so that's not in there. So let's put in under, it's probably not under organization either. Okay, so once you have finished adding in the custom fields for pipe drive, uh, you'll need to go um, and continue that process of mapping the data. You're going to be brought back here to this page that says import data uh, if you're in the middle of um, still importing. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this little green continue button. It's in two different spots. So click there and let's go through that process of mapping the, the data through. So I'm going to skip some of these fields. Some of these we don't even really care about. So let's see here. This is, so that's the contact phone. So you can look at these little icons you can see here. So this is a person phone versus a person uh, organization name. It's like these little building symbols versus the person symbol. That's going to let you know how to kind of categorize this information since there will be, uh, you know, like a person's phone number and an organization phone number. You don't want to mess up the data. So let's map this appropriately. So this contact information, like this street and city and state and zip. Um, this really should be like the, the person's contact information if our CSV file has that information for the person. So let's go ahead and under the, the person record here, let's go ahead and drag over like contact address, uh, contact city, contact state, zip code, and contact company name. So that's good there where it has name there. Um, and then, so let's see here. Probably in our original data, our CSV, we would need to confirm this, but this contact company name and this name here, this is probably the same information. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's see here. I was looking to see if there might be another field in here for like the con like a second contact company name. I'm not seeing anything. You can only put in a pipe drive field into one of these, so you can't map this name field into both. Um, if I want to, I could create another field, but I'm not going to do that. Um, address. So this should be the address information for the organization. And you can see it's got like the org organization symbol there, the little buildings. Uh, let's go back here. Let's change apartment suite number. Let's put in here street road name and city, put city there, county. Uh, let's put state right here. Zip code. Okay. And phone number. Let's see. Do we got organization phone? All right. Website. And most of this other information that came in that original file, the user, the uh, the client's never really going to use that in their CRM. Now, if we needed this information in, we could go back in and add that in later. But most of that information, it's not going to be really applicable for what he needs. 
I'm just going to go ahead and click into next and that's going to um, prompt us to, to figure out if we want to merge any data or create multiple records. In this case, this CRM doesn't have any records, so I, I, it doesn't really matter, but I would normally just merge data as we're importing this in instead of creating duplicates for the same contact. So let's go ahead and um, click on start import. And this can take maybe up to five minutes, depending on the size of your file that you're importing. Okay, so finally that file finished importing all the data that we had. Now we'd have to do this for every single uh, other file that we had out in Dropbox. But as you can see here, all the data is imported. All those persons are listed under contacts uh, in Pipedrive here. So now we can go ahead and begin the process of sending emails out to them and then hopefully get some deals added to our Pipedrive pipeline. All right, let me know if you have any questions.